Okay, a lot of you have asked questions about how I set up my palettes and what palettes I use in paints, and so I would thought I'd go into a little bit more explanation about that. Um, this is one of my Daniel Smith uh, watercolor palettes, and it is an enamel palette, which I do really like. It closes up like this, and it has a ring on the back so that you can slip your finger in there and hold your palette while you're painting. Um, I generally don't do that, but you could. And it just opens like so. And then you can hold it. Um, the way this works is that these little pieces come out like so, and then you have these little half pans. You can buy um, empty half pans from Daniel Smith, and um, then you just fill them with your tube paints, and then you put them in any order that you want, or take them out, and then you just put in this little wedge, and um, that holds it in firmly, which is really nice. The way I've done this palette, people said, well, how do you um, set up your palette? And I always do one of these little charts because, as you can see, when things dry, it's hard to tell exactly what the colors are. And basically, the way I set my things up are, and this is not always the case, but um, I tend to put my greens together, my blues, my purples, reds, oranges, yellows, and then um, my neutrals here. And so this palette is basically um, my standard colors that I use for Daniel Smith. So that's one palette. The other Daniel Smith palette that I have is pretty much all of my Primatech colors. And Primatech is um, Daniel Smith watercolors that have natural pigments in them. Um, and I'm really very fond of them. But as you can see here, it's really hard to tell the different colors. Once again, it's one of those enamel pans. And so I've made a chart. And this, you can really tell that um, you need a chart to tell what those colors are. And once again, I kind of just set it up in a similar m manner. Um, my greens here, my oranges and reds here. Um, this, you know... <laughs> These greens and blues got in there somehow, um, and then my more neutral tones. So there, sometimes there's a method to my madness. I try to keep in the color scheme, but um, I basically just you know write those down so that I have my little chart. It's on a piece of watercolor paper, and um, I always just keep that in there. So that's my Primatech palette. And then my other palette that I use are these Lucas watercolors. And the only place I know who sells these is Jerry's Artorama. And um, they come from Germany. And it comes in an enamel pan like this. Once again, it has a ring on the back. I really am fond of the enamel pans. And um, I definitely made a color chart for this one. And these are cake pans. Um, but they are very saturated, heavily pigmented water watercolors. I really like them. Um, this is the set of 48, which I think retails for something like 300 and some dollars. Then their price is like 176, and then on sale, I think they have it right now for 139. I got it on a super sale for 99 dollars, and um, that's actually you know one of the reasons I went ahead and got it. Um, and so we made the color chart. I really like it. I have it set up the same way. Oranges, reds, greens, blues, neutrals. The one thing about this is that they are individual half pans. So I'm going to just pull these off and show you. However, they kind of just kind of stick in there a little bit. But I had a I found that you know if I moved it or something, they'd stick to the top. They'd come out. So what I went ahead and did. So I can pull one up here. is that I used, and you can see this, it's the sticky kind of um, like tape dot adhesives that are the 3D, and um, I just stuck them down here to the bottom, so they're real sticky, and then I placed my pans on and gave it a push. So you can pull up those pans, but you have to really pull it up. So once again, here is like an empty pan, and you could fill this, you know, when one of these is empty, or you have some space to add. And then I just put that sticky glue on the bottom and pressed it down. So this is the Lucas watercolor. Um, some of you asked if you were starting out, what would you get? I wouldn't start with the Daniel Smiths. 
um, just because they're very pricey and um, when you you have a whole tube and you fill a half pan you know that tubes gonna last you forever um, probably dry out before you use all the paint in here uh, so I would say that if I was gonna start out I would go for the Lucas and I would you know get as much as you could afford um, they come in sets of 12 24 and 48 because they're already full pans they're dry and they last a really long time and you already get the enamel pan which on its own the enamel pan is $68 empty so um, I think that this is a really good deal and I really do like the watercolors and it closes like this and then there's just a little um, extra secure thing there 